Good morning, everybody. Dan Bornt here. I figured I'd drop a quick little stream for everybody. Um, I have been using Doom Emacs for a while now. And I recently went through an upgrade path down here, which I'm going to run through again. And when I got to this step here, the sync, I ran into a weird error message. It broke and this is what I was left with. <laughs> a blinding white screen, no Doom Emacs. It's not supposed to look like this. Uh, so this is basically what I was trying to accomplish. So uh, from in here, I do a bin. Doom bin should be a folder. Get bin. Actually, we'll just do a git pull. Right, so this is going to re pull everything. Now, I had just done this a while ago, so we should be in good shape. There shouldn't be that much different. Then since I'm on Windows, I'm going to go ahead and CD into the bin folder because it makes this next command easier. I'm going to do a doom clean. Good there. Then I'm going to do a doom sync. And this is where I get the error. So basically, it says that so long in recipe repositories, not in, couldn't find the package so long in the recipe repositories. So I did some Googling around. Finally, I broke down and said, uh, I did some Googling around. Let me start with that. And there was an issue so I had sent a message to him saying that I couldn't Uh, figure out what the problem was and he replied to me that so I tried a couple of the things that were in another issue over here and I believe it was issue 2802 so let me open up a new window here Give me a second here. So if we go to issues and I look for, uh, I just want to look for 2802, right? I think this is the one, right? So this is the issue I filed. This is the issue I was looking at. So what I did is I followed this recommendation from Melpa. Now what he's saying is that, and I didn't realize this, I'm kind of new to Emacs. I haven't really done a ton of the investigation into it. 
But based on his note, he's saying that so long is in the GNU Elpa and the Emacs Mirror. So he says, if straight can't find it, it's because your local recipe is right. So I had tried it for the Melpa, but not anything else. So he says, you can run Doom Sync U. So we're going to try these steps to see if these work. Basically is what we're getting at. Uh, so I want to go back to here. And I want to find this upgrade path. So what we're going to do is he said we should be able to do a doom doom sync dash u. So let's try that. Nope. So that did not work. Or manually pull the repos. So the way I pulled the repos before is I used this. And I did a git pull on those particular repos. So what we could do <clears throat> is go into CD. Uh, where are we? It's dot local straight repos and then those two repos. So dot local straight repos and if we do uh, GNU Elpa all right and we do a git pull And there's so long, so you can see so long in there now. So now let's do an LS in here and see if we can find this uh, Emacs So we did the GNU Elpa mirror. And he had also mentioned Emacs Mirror. Emacs Mirror Mirror. So we're going to go into that one too. So we'll go Okay, so let's just go. Now let's try Doom. Still can't find it. Okay. Or simply delete everything in straight. Okay. Delete recursively straight. Okay. So let's try that. I mean, at this point, my Emacs is broken. So what the hell? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rm dash recursive dash force straight.
All right, so we're basically removing all of the local repos. It's going to probably take a while to run this, so I'll pause the video. But then we're going to repull all of the repos, right? So now if I go back into bin here and I run a doom sync dash u chances are it's going to repull all of those so i'm going to pause and then when we come back we'll be okay okay so that whole process took 17 minutes um but now i believe we're okay to go ahead and do the doom update so we've done the doom sync now we're going to do doom update Doom upgrade, sorry. Mm, let's see. Oh, already did it. Doom is up to date. It's installing packages. It may have already done this, so I'm going to let this run and we'll see what happens. The dash U might have actually done the Doom update. The upgrade is part of the sync, but we'll see. Okay, so that took another three minutes, but I think it already did what it needed to do. So what we are going to do now is I am going to close this. I am going to do a run Emacs. And let's hope we're back. Beautiful, that worked. So clearing out the repos and doing a sync U uh, fixed it. It just reloaded all of the repos. And now my configuration should still be there. So space FR should be my recent files, yep. Space PP should be projects. Those are my projects. Cool. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Well, that is pretty cool. So, the thing to keep in mind is if you ever run into a problem with Doom Emacs and not being able to do something like can't find a package. Uh, the easiest way to get around it is if you can't update directly. Like if this sync doesn't work and you don't manually pull, it takes a little longer. But if you just blow away your local local repo, repos and do a doom sync, it repulls all the repos all over again. So... Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're golden. That's good. This guy, um, Mr. Listener, this is, if you ever want to get into Emacs, but you're a Vim guy or girl, um, this here, this Doom Emacs is, I've used Space Max. I've tried to build my own. This is one of the best implementations of like a distribution or a framework for jumping into Emacs that I've ever played with. Like it comes with so much out of the box, but it works so well. Like this is what it looks like. And it works on Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, this is what it looks like in Windows. I mean, but it works great. Uh, like, if I want to open up a recent, like, a project. Like, let's say you're working in a project. Like, I have a bunch of scripts for work, so I don't want to get too crazy with this. But, um, well, you know what? Let's open up a Git repo. Uh, let's open up. Um, so if we want to find a directory, we do space FD, right? So everything's still based on the space key. 
and we're gonna go we're gonna go home dot emacs d right now this is a project now let's say we want to see the status of this project we can do a space g which is our get and if we want to see the status we do a g and right now it's going to say the head is the develop branch any merge any pull requests our origin develop um, and it's going to try to download recent commits now this might take a while because it's a fairly large project but um, it comes with maggot installed out of the box it comes with it comes with so many different things I mean you'd have to look through everything that it comes with it's got really good documentation so uh, it's got an FAQ section here You can still customize it without breaking the underlying pinnings. Uh, so, I mean, it's really, it's really, I think it's fantastic. Like, I use it all the time. Uh, and the key bindings are pretty, uh, the key bindings are actually really, really good. Uh, so if I do a space FR for a recent file... And let's just say I go to a uh, let's say I go to that gettingstarted.org, right? Right. So this is the gettingstarted.org, right? It's a pretty big file, but. It's basically a giant org mode file. Um, and obviously there's links inside the org mode file to different spots in the file. So you would just follow them like you'd follow links. I'm still learning a lot of the org mode stuff, so it's, you know, I'm learning, but like, all the documentation is built in. They have a Discord server. I mean, it's really top notch. I really like this 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 a lot. Um, so I think we're back in business. Uh, anyway, so that's just kind of a quick little video on fixing my Emacs, my Doom Emacs, and it worked. So thank you to Mr. Listener for his tireless work on this. And um, again, if you want to check it out, it's github.com. You could search for doom-emacs on github.com and it'll run you through. And if anybody's interested in a video of how to, how to set this up from scratch, I can do that too because I could either spin it up in a VM or I could do it uh, on my Linux box or something like that, which I haven't done yet. So anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and have a great day.